All right, so here we are. We're gonna check out Savers today. We're gonna go inside and see if we can find something to flip for profit on eBay. My eBay store at 365 Vintage Hunter. If you see anything you like, please let me know down in the comments. All right, let's go inside. All right, guys. We got a nice chicken up here. Let's check it out. Uh, oh, it's a modern chicken from China. Oh, look at all of the knickknacks they got here. Ooh. It's just a glaze. I think it's just a glaze chip. Ooh, we're gonna. Hunter. Rondo. Hmm. Have to look at that. We'll see. This almost looks like it should be Fitz and Floyd. It's not, though. Alright. Let's see what else we can find here. Oh, look at this, guys. It's like almost like a sand art. All right, so what you didn't see me pick up was a couple pieces of art. And I just noticed the side cards, but love this. I don't know if I can get you a good shot of it right now. So I'll go over those later on and explain them to you. Oh my gosh, look how cute. Does he have a partner? She does, I'm picking this up. Loving the pig. Okay, here we are. Getting too excited. Slow down there. <laughs> and it is signed. What a great piggy. He is really heavy, too. Hmm. Not sure, guys. Let me put these guys right here and see if I can find the other one for him. Real quick, I'll put them in my cart. Looking around, not quite seeing it yet. Oh, oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Hmm. Huh. I can't find him. I should pick him up and just take him with me. Just in case. But I'm gonna grab him because this is carved out of one piece of stone. So I can't leave really that in there. It's so cute. This looks like almost like an Audigary piece, but it's made in China. This one probably is too then. No? It's not. It's an art mark. Peace. Isn't that pretty with the swan and her babies? Babies watching babies. Here we go. That's the piece I was talking about under here, though. Oh, it's got it chipped. It's butterflies chipped. That's cute. That's super cute. Alright, so I'm going to take this guy with me. Because oh, how cute is that? Sitting on your table for a salt and pepper shaker. All right, let's see what else we can find. So far, so good. And I actually wasn't going to come in Savers because the last time I was in Savers, I couldn't find anything at all. Now oh, these are cool. Nineteen nine nineteen eighty-three. Nice little hobbyist piece. Very nice. Very nicely done. <laughs> That's funny. I think of my son's girl when I see gnomes. She loves her gnomes. Don't you, Masha? Alright. Hmm. 
549. Sorry guys, I had to take a phone call. I'm the cardiologist, so sorry about that interruption. <laughs> but I have to expect it. Beautiful set, and yet there's no Jesus again. Oh, man. It happens, I guess. Oh, there's a little glass art right there. Art glass. Not sure what it is. I know it hangs. There's a hole in the bottom. Not sure what that is, honestly. Praying hands. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I have this one at home. Isn't she pretty? She's chipped though. She has a crack on her edge. It's very sad. By the mill stream. Look at that. October 90 in Tennessee. And I don't see a signature. That's sad. What do we got here? This almost looks like a decoupage. And it's extremely heavy. <laughs> but very cool. Very, very cool. Hmm. There's so much to see. What is this sitting at the top? Oh, it's resin. That fooled me. Oh, is it that? That's a pretty, that's a different color. I don't think I've ever seen it in it. You see that guy? It's very pretty. It's, I think this is Oklahoma glass. Why is it pretty? This goes for about $45. What's well, listed, and that's around $45, $35. But it's very heavy and it will cost the buyer a lot of money to get it shipped to them. Go slow, guys. Try to go slow. Alright, I'm seeing these little houses. I'm gonna see what they are, but I want to go back here and see what this is. This is. Oh, what's the name on the bottom? Let's see if I can catch it here. Looks like it says Bauer. Hold on. Not quite sure, but it's very lightweight too. I might come back to it later, but oh, let's see what else we have. Oh, oh the lovebirds. Pigeons, it's so cute. Oh, anyway. All right, let's check it out. I'll keep you guys down a little bit. Don't want to get anybody in the picture. I try to give people their privacy. There a lot of Avon stuff right here. A lot of Avon being actually um, placed in. Morgantown. 
genuine lead crystal. Handmade Morgantown. That's a pretty blue. It really is. For $7.99 though. It's a little high. I mean, it's a good price. It's a pretty piece, but I don't know if I'd want to ship that. It's really, really, really thin around the edges. I mean, I ship a lot of different things that are pretty fragile. But I'm also very cautious about what I ship. <laughs> it's interesting. And different, but it has like a new sticker to the back. Let's see what we got here. Oh, the chicken. I have a I have a huge chicken collection at uh, at home. I actually came down here for this. This is so cool. It should say West Germany on it. Let's see if it does. Yes. In Germany. Yep. Isn't that cool? Now, it, it's according to who wants it, but sometimes things like this can go for, I don't know, $10, 15 I mean, there's still some some profit to be made with it. So, if somebody likes it, that's, that would be awesome. I think it's cool. Oh, nice little trinket jar. With apples and oranges, it's a Mikasa. All right, what do we got up here? All right. That's cool looking. Well, that's interesting, with the trees on it. And snowflakes and lost in it. No signature. It's kind of rough. It's very neat. Postcards. Oh, this is neat too. It's a map though. Wow, I would have never guessed that. Not in a million years. We'll come back to the art. around and see if we can miss anything. I think we're going to switch sides while this nice lady over here is on here. Oh, I see a blue angel it's striking my interest. Unfortunately, he has a chipped foot. That sucks. I like the, the the movement of it, of the candle holder. It's pretty cool. This is kind of neat. That's new. It's pretty though. I like floral shaped glass. I like glass that shows movement. Kind of like what I do every time I'm moving the camera around. Sorry guys. <laughs> I am getting better at it. I think. I did like the hedgehog. Oh, he got chippies though. Yeah, right there, right there. A cute hedgehog. Very cute. But I was wanting to see this doll. The Jester doll. Because it looks like it's got some age. So we're going to see how much age. She definitely has some wear on her. Right here. I'm almost wondering if he was always a fort gesture. Hmm. I'm gonna put him in and look him up. Let's see what we got. Alright. Hmm. Made in Indonesia. It's kinda cool. Baskets here shortly. Are we gonna candles? Oh, that's cool. It looks like Mikasa also. But these would be great, the horn of plenty. To like put a candle in them for 
your table at $4.99 a piece. That's a little higher than what I want to go. And there's no sales today. There's no percentage off for us old folks. <laughs> so that's okay. <laughs> I think I see a long burger. Hold on, guys. Might be wrong. Let's find out. Probably not wrong. Yeah. Yeah, I think I am. I think it's wannabe. Yep, yeah, I want to be longer. Burger. Here, have a look. There's some nice baskets here, though. But not a, for my cup of tea. I, I personally like the hand woven ones I pick up. So, I have my whole wall filled with it. That is really cool looking piece of glass. And they got it priced, so let's see. It's France, but I don't think it's worth nine dollars. What? Something to definitely think about, maybe. Just not feeling it. So. Hmm. Go find some other stuff. All right, let's go. Okay, so I came over here in the pottery section. Told you I would turn you back on if I found things that I liked and I like him. Look at the face on him. This is a great little piece. I believe it's burwood, but I could be wrong. It's got a number inside, but it is so cute. Look at that. Look at that face. That's absolutely adorable. Oh, I think Katie Push Push. I, I like cats. I think anybody who's been following me knows I have a cat and I have a dog who acts like a cat. My dog is a medical dog and my cat <laughs> just needs medicine. <laughs> Sorry. Right now, all I do is feed blankets <laughs> into a machine. I mean, that's way more interesting. <laughs> New England pottery. That's what I thought that was. It's made in Portugal, though. I don't know, but that's really cool. What a great flower pot. And for $4.94, I mean, it's heavy. I won't tell you it's not. That is really pretty. Hmm. I'm really thinking about getting him because he's just too cute. Oh, it's got a crack right through there. Oh, that sucks. He's cute. He is. It's either a Nesco or a Narco. If there's numbers, I think it's a Nesco. Some cool pieces. Uh, the weird part is, is I'm right around Red Wing, one of the best pottery places out there. <gasps> I am seeing a large piece of orange beauty and it just so happens to be marked. Oh, please don't be like $30. <laughs> I'm not seeing a price. In savers, this is not a good idea. Oh, look at that. Okay. I'm confused. I mean, it's up. See, it's mouth blown. That is stunning. I and mean, I'm gonna turn everything else in just for having that. So I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that because I love the color. I do. I'll put that right there. That is amazing color. What else we got up here? This is pretty. Cool piece. I'm seeing something up here I really, really like. Oh my god, there's two. There's two. Oh my gosh, you guys love it too. 
There are two of them. Oh, this is Polish glass. I love Polish glass. This. I'm not feeling any chips. Oh, they're made in China. Dang. $8.49. They're lovely. And that one doesn't look like it's made in China. That one does. That one doesn't. Oh, yeah, let's not take down the other glass on me. I'm gonna look these up guys. Hold on. Okay, those go for about 30 bucks. I wanna ask you a nosy question. What app are you, are you using? Huh? What app are you using? For what, for my YouTube? No, just just to be looking oh. at. Oh, looking hold on for a second, guys. Stuff. So guys, I picked up this piece right here, so I was helping a nice lady. And it's got a signature at the bottom. Can't really see it, but we will when we get it home. We'll look that up here in a minute. All right, let's go see what else we can find. To flip for profit. By the way, if you like what I'm doing right now, if you could please hit the like button, it helps my channel grow by the algorithm on YouTube. And if you could please subscribe, it would mean so much to me. I'd be ever so appreciative. Um, and I just love doing this stuff with you guys. So this is a really cool tin. I'm gonna pick this up. I like old tins. I think I said that to you the other day, but it's a good fall fit, fall tin. We'll look it up and see who it's about. All right. And if you see something that you like, um, you can go out to my eBay store at 365 Vintage Hunter and um, and if you see something that you like, you can go to 365. So we're going to pop that in there and I was helping a lady out. I also found this. I'm going to look it up here in a little bit. It's for $3.99. It's got great fall colors. It's got the, the um, horn of plenty on it. So, really cool. I can't really see. Sorry. The, the name on it, maybe you guys can. But I believe this is a... Could be wrong. I think, yeah, Smith Crafted, Chicago. So, we're just going to check up about it. I think it's a cool piece. Because I love tins, really old tins that are unique. This is really pretty. Look at the glaze in that. Almost looks like snow. It's not signed. That's a shame. All right, let's go see what else we can find. Okay, we're over here in the wood and metal section of the store. Isn't that really cool? Look at that, look at the elk. Lakefront Cottage, oh, that is adorable. Put that on my back porch. Ooh, this is neat. Okay, now I've seen these before. I've never seen this one before. That's pretty cool. Carson Mansion. Huh. That's pretty cool. That back up there. I don't know enough about that stuff. Like I said, I, I don't have a niche. I like all beautiful things, old and new, or just amazing. Oh my gosh, are you guys seeing this? Oh, not sure what that's made out of. That is made from wood. Okay, there's gotta be a reason that they only price this at $14.99, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Look at this. Oh, get rid of the pheasant feathers, obviously. <laughs> but, oh, he's not, is he signed at all? Oh, he's amazing. I don't see a signature, what's it say, made? Oh, it's made in the Philippines. If that was made local, I would have grabbed that in a heartbeat. So as you guys know, 
I don't live far from the Sioux Nation. Um, actually, I'm surrounded by quite a few <laughs> Indian nations around me. Uh, let's see what we can find. This is pretty. I'm not finding it. Wow. There's a whole load of these guys. <laughs> It's amazing. Uh, look guys, look, 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 there's a boat for me, a boat. There's a boat. I can fix that, I can, I can fix that. How much? Oh, $2.99, yes, you're going home with me. Yes, 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 yes. Ooh, with wooden sails, I've never seen one. That is amazing, I don't care if it's not signed. It's amazing. Oh, I love my boats. Love, love, love them. So a little bit about me is I grew up on the Eastern Shore. And I grew up boating and clamming and oyster diving and fishing and crabbing. So I am a on out out water person. But I grew up in an area that had a lot of mountains too. So super cool. Because I like the mountains and I like the water. And isn't this pretty? Wow. I mean, it's nothing that's major, but it is pretty. That hand painting, whoever did it, did a really nice job. Look at that. Really nice job. Oh, look at the teddy bear. Look at that. Wow. Cute teddy bear. It's a, fortunately, it's a applied, and the applique is partly coming off. See what we have here. I love little canisters, I do. And it's a Delph. Let's see, Holland Handwork. I always love when they spell it the way they do too. It seems to be in good shape. It's just dirty on top. It's always what looks different. But it is the same pattern. And for $4.99, I think we're gonna take that. All right. I think we have another one down here. I think this is newer though. Yeah, one's, oh, that's, uh, that one is newer. Okay. Oh, this is neat. Florida Lee on the side of the pieces. It's supposed to be times four, so 649 times four. Who makes these? I don't think I've ever seen these before. I'm gonna look these up real quick, guys. Hold on. I don't know everything. I never planned on saying that. <laughs> okay, what you didn't see me pick up was these really beautiful glasses. I'll show you the rest. So I picked up these black and white dishes. They're um, bowls and dessert plates. I'm not sure yet. I think I'm going to keep them, but I'm not sure. Love that green. Very pretty. Mm. Hmm. So how are you guys liking this so far? Am I moving slow enough? <laughs> I always feel like I can't move slow enough for you guys. I try, I just get excited. This nice little palm tree. I am filling my cart. <laughs> this is really good here at Savers today. If I was home, I'd be able to do a, maybe I would do a, try a live, I've never done one before, but. Oh, look at the ice bucket. Oh, look at this, guys. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. This is, should be a Cena. I think this is a Cena. These are really cool. Look how pretty this is. I think it would do well. I mean, at least, you know, 15 maybe $20 for it at least. You know? There's a few little dotty things on the top. I'm not sure what that is. Hold on. Before I get excited, I always check the inside. Ooh, it's kind of rusted. 
Hmm. If I can clean. Oh, you know what? It's dented in there. It has a bunch of little hole marks. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. It goes across. Um, I don't know if that would be forgivable. I don't. But let's see what we got. Let me check it out. So I'm like loading my cart left and right. And I need to be cautious what I'm doing. <laughs> so hold on. Yeah, I just looked it up and they go for about 10 to 15 dollars. And those are the ones that aren't even sold yet. <laughs> so, and I really need to make sure. Anyway, we'll go through it. I'll see what needs to come out and what needs to stay. So, anyway. All right, let's go shop. Oh, look at all of the teapots. This beautiful Libby here. Isn't that gorgeous? It doesn't have its um, inside pieces. That's percolator. Look at this. Why a lady? Huh. But does it have everything? Hold on, guys. I need two hands for this. So it's listed for about $40, but I will tell you right now that has got to be over four pounds. It is heavy. Oh, that's fun. With the frog. Aww. <laughs> it's a um, definitely an artisan piece. With this really fun plate that goes with it. That is super cute. It's got a chip go right there on the side. All right, let's see what else we got. Oh, this is really pretty. Look at this. Beneath. An autumn sky, grateful hearts, gathered to share the blessings of this beautiful life. What a wonderful saying. Hand painted, and dishwasher safe, made in the Philippines. It's really pretty. It really is. What is this? So, cast metal. Please tell me people didn't take the stuff out of it. Well, it looks like all the pieces are there. I think. Looks like it is, but I don't know. And the thing about these is you've got to have all the pieces. And obviously it's sitting over here in cookware, so that should tell you something right there. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna go quickly through here. So, all right, I don't wanna get anybody dizzy. Just as I was coming around the corner, look what I find, an Adagiri tray. How cool is this? Adagiri, Japan with instructions of how to take care of it. How seriously cool. That might go to my son though. We'll have to see if he wants it for Christmas. If he doesn't, I'm gonna be listing it this week. All right, I think we're done. I think we found everything we can find for now. So. <laughs> Pardon me. No, I fault. You guys are fine. All right. Not seeing anything else. All right, let's go sit. check one more place I haven't checked yet. Hopefully get some stuff. This is a great find. This blanket goes for about a little over $20, $30. It's usually like 60 bucks. But I think we can get hopefully about 20, 30 bucks out of it. It's a really good name. It's a remake of it, but it still does very well. <laughs>